There is a live look outside. No shortage of clouds with us today. I don't think uh, any of us saw a lot of sunshine. Very gray. Yes. And a gloomy look at the city. Absolutely. <laughs> and the good news is we do have, I would say, at least a little bit of sunshine on deck for tomorrow. Wait until the afternoon hours, though. We do have more rain to get through in the morning. We'll show you that in just a second. Okay. With the radar and satellite pretty much covered in rain at this point. Oh, right. Most of it light rain. However, as the night goes on, we are expecting some pockets of the heavier showers. So just a coat with a hood, mm -hmm. an umbrella, whatever you need to do as you hit the town. Good for you. As for those temperatures, so Baltimore, we topped out at 50, and we're going to hold steady in the mid to upper 40s thanks to the clouds sticking with us through the overnight hours. So let's check in with our weather watchers here. So we're seeing this range of numbers. We're talking upper 40s into the low 50s. This 51 degrees. This is from our friend Carrie in Cherry Hill. Yes, a good amount of clouds. That is certainly the case, Carrie. Thank you for that. Deb and Rick in Hava de Grace have 48 degrees. Scott in Millersville has 49. Our good friend Twyla in Waynesboro, 46. Justin in Glen Birdie, 49. So we appreciate you keeping an eye on things. Our map showing a similar range. So, Baltimore, we've only dipped down to 49 degrees from that high of 50. Now, as for the winds, well, they are very quiet at this point. We are expecting them, though, to pick up throughout the day tomorrow. So, we could see gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Obviously, that's not the case right now, uh, right around 5 to 10 miles an hour across the state. Oh boy, quite a mess here on the radar and satellite, wouldn't you say? Because we have this pocket of rain, the bulk of this system. Staying to the north, and then we do have another one on the way. So, in addition to just seeing some plain rain tomorrow, there's a chance that we could see a few thunderstorms. We are not expecting any strong to severe storms. We're just not going to have enough heat and instability for that, but there is a chance you could hear a few rumbles of thunder. Okay, here we are tonight at midnight. Baltimore still seeing rain at that point. 2 a.m. Still seeing rain at that point. In fact, we really don't see the rain start to clear out until 7 o'clock in the morning. So that's why there's this chance for spotty showers in the morning. There is the chance for those thunderstorms. That's more likely in the afternoon. I will say, though, this model shows us missing those thunderstorms, which is something to be aware of. And then when I mentioned the chance for some sunshine, well, here it would be right around 3 o'clock. We finally see that heavy cloud cover pushing off to the east. And then we do have nice doses of sunshine to follow. However, very inconvenient that they line up with the work week and not the weekend. But I guess we'll just take what we can get. Dipping down to 45 degrees tonight, the potential for fog. So once again, we're expecting fog to develop tonight. It'll stick with us through tomorrow morning. However, we are not expecting it to be as dense as what we had last night into early this morning. So, so far, no advisories issued regarding the fog, but we'll, of course, to keep you posted if that should change. 66, though, that will be the high for tomorrow, that chance for storms. Normal high for this time of year at 47. So we will be well above average once again. Our five day forecast showing you that the sunshine and dry weather make a return Monday, stick around Tuesday, Wednesday, and then more rain in the forecast by Thursday. So, Tracy, we do have some dry and sunny weather to look forward to. All right, just hold out and we will get that sunshine to return. All right, thank you, Meg.